Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to set up a BIOS password on your computer. Now, it doesn't really matter what version of Windows you're running, but I'm going to be just going over a brief tutorial of how to set up a password protected BIOS. Now, different motherboard manufacturers will have slightly different BIOS settings, but this will be the generic one that a lot of people should see or see very similar variations of. So we're going to go forward with setting up a password. So we're going to restart our computer to get into the BIOS. So whether you have to hit the F2 key or the delete or escape key in order to access the BIOS, you want to get into it. Since I'm running on a virtual machine, I have to tap the escape key, but it'll be different depending on your motherboard manufacturer. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down using the arrow keys on my keyboard until I hover over and highlight the enter setup selection. And then I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. Now with the BIOS open, I'm going to scroll over until I get to the security tab using the arrow keys again. So now that our selection is over the set supervised password, I'm going to hit the enter key. Now I'm going to enter our password that we're going to set. And then once you hit enter, you're going to have to confirm your new password. So type it in again and then hit enter. It says changes have been saved and then hit enter again. And at this point, you can click F10 to save and exit. And it will prompt you if you want to save configuration changes and exit now. You want to select enter on your keyboard. And now if I try and re-enter our bio settings as the computer is restarting, I see that I have to enter our password. So if I type the password wrong, it'll give us an invalid password alert. So you have to make sure you type the password incorrect. And that's basically it. Uh, just make sure you remember what your BIOS password is and keep it in a secure location. Because to reset your BIOS password can be a little bit annoying because you, in most cases, have to take apart your computer. I mean, it's not too bad, but again, you'd have to open up your computer case, and that's always a pain. So I would highly recommend you keep this password in a secure location. It's not exceptionally easy to reset it. So with that in mind, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.